Hello children, I have come with yet another problem from linear equations in one variable class 8. I have brought this time age problems involving ratios. So the problem is the ages of Sonu and Monu are in the ratio 7 is to 5. 10 years hence, the ratio of the ages will be 9 is to 7. Find their present ages. So let us see how we are going to solve this problem. Statement 1 of the problem. The ages of Sonu and Monu are in the ratio 7 is to 5. So what is, does this mean? This means that if Sonu is 7 years old, Monu will be 5 years old. And if we multiply the ratio with a factor of 2, we get 7 times 2, 14. That means if Sonu is 14 years old, Monu will be 10 years old. If we multiply the whole ratio with a factor of 3, we get that if Sonu is 21 years old, Monu will be 15. If we multiply the ratio with 4, we get that if Sonu is 28 years old, and Monu will be 20 years old. But we are uncertain because we only know that the ratio of their ages is 7 is to 5. We are uncertain about their exact ages. So we will suppose the factor as x. Let x be the factor with which we will multiply this ratio. So 7 times x. If 7x is the age of Sonu, then 5 times x. 5x will be Monu's age. So, we have supposed that the present ages of Sonu and Monu are 7x and 5x. So, we write this in the table below. 7x the age of Sonu, 5x the age of Monu. Statement 2 of the problem. I have taken a part of the statement 2 which says 10 years hence. What does it mean? It means that we have been given a scenario after 10 years. And what happens after 10 years? The age of Sonu and Monu will increase by 10 years. So Sonu's age will be 7x plus 10 and Monu's age will be 5x plus 10. So after 10 years, we will have a new ratio of the ages of Sonu and Monu. And what will be that ratio? Just have a look. The ratio will be 7x plus 10 divided by 5x plus 10. So this will be the new ratio after 10 years. Now let us look at statement 3 of the problem. 10 years hence. The ratio of the ages is will be 9 is to 7. So we are also given the ratio after 10 years in numerical form. And it is given to be 9 is to 7. But we have found the ratio in variable form as 7x plus 10 over 5x plus 10. So both these ratios will be equal. So we have equated these two ratios. And we get 7x plus 10 over 5x plus 10 is equal to 9 over 7. So here we get our equation and we just need to solve this equation to find out the factor x. So let us try to solve this, this equation. First we need to cross multiply. So after cross multiplying we get 7 times 7x plus 10. 9 times 5x plus 10. So I take 7 inside and I get 49x and I get 70. Here I take 9 inside, I get 45x and I get 90. So let's look at our next step. 49x plus 70 is equal to 45x plus 90. So let us combine the like terms. 49x minus 45x, 90 minus 70. So we get 
4x is equal to 20. So x is going to be 5. So x is the factor with which our ratio is going to be multiplied. And we get x as 5. So let us see what we are going to do next. In the beginning, we suppose that the present ages of Sonu and Monu are 7x and 5x. And now we have found out the value of x. So let us put x is equal to 5. So we get 35 years as the age of Sonu and 25 years as the age of Monu. So therefore, the present age of Sonu is 35 years. The present age of Monu is 25 years. So let us now check our problem. Present ages, we suppose them to be 35 years. Uh, they would be 7 times 5, 35. And 5 times 5, 25. And the ratio will be 35 over 25, 7 into 5. Which was given in our statement 1 of the problem. So this much is correct. Let's check after 10 years. Age after 10 years will be 35 plus 10 is equal to 45. 25 plus 10 is equal to 35. So let us find out the ratio. It is 45 divided by 35. If we simplify it, we will get 9 over 7. So it is as given in the problem. So that means our solution is correct. So uh, we have solved this ratios problem and if you like the video, you can subscribe my channel and like the video. Thanks a lot for watching my video.